Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called Snerix Test Park Horrors. This map is a lot like Grid Map, where you just have a bunch of crazy props, jumps, and things to crash into all over a really big, flat area. First thing I wanted to do was that jump, and uh, it went pretty successfully, and now we rolled, hitting the second jump. I mean, that's what it's there for, so I have nothing to say about that. I mean, that's like, yeah, it did its job. So we're going to reset the vehicle. Next thing I'm going to do is that loop de 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 Is that enough loop dees Right? That's the, that's the correct number of loop dees for that, right? I don't know. Anyways, the car I'm going to use for this, I'm going to go ahead and change from the pickup truck because in testing, it was a little difficult to use the pickup truck because it didn't quite get up to speed using that one. So I'm going to switch over to the drift missile, which should get enough speed and it kind of fits the idea of this because it's a car you don't care if you damage. I mean, that's the whole idea behind drift missiles. It's a car you don't care if it's damaged, you just repair it and keep having fun with it. So it should be a perfect car for something like this. And it's getting up to over 70 miles per hour, so speed should not be an issue. And I'm using this camera angle. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's a lip between the two. I didn't know that. When I was testing it before, I only used the truck. So I didn't realize there was a lip right here that would kill your suspension if you used a car with low ground clearance like that. Like, I guess it actually hit the front bumper that wasn't really there. Like, the front bumper was replaced because this is a drift missile, so I just went straight to frame damage. That's great. All right, so we need ground clearance then. I'm going to go ahead and just switch to the off-road van, sir, and we could do the same color just so it matches up. Kind of matches that thing over there, which doesn't work for me. I'll show you why in a minute, but first got to do this. And here's why you don't use the... Uh, behind you camera by the way. I'm going to try to do it with this camera but expect failure because this is what you see. It's like oh god and crash. Yeah. And I was honestly trying there but it's just so disorientating. I'm just like I'm upside down. I'm upside down. I'm off the thing. It's just I can't focus like that so to make it easier this camera angle is the one we use and hopefully we have enough speed. We're coming in a little slower than I was hoping but come on it's going to be tough on this last one all right, and last one. Come on, Vanster. I heard the wheels lifting up, but we made it. And that's how that works. There's also this over here, but I'm not coming in at the right angle for it. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to try it this direction because this one seems a lot more difficult. The other direction seems a lot easier to do. So let's do that. Let's go through it like this to get to the other side. Oh, my roof. My roof and my everything I tipped over. Come on, roll yourself. Call out rolling. Roll! Nope, not happening. Just reset it. At least I think it looks easier from this side. It might be all an illusion. Anyways, I'm just going to back up to about here. And again, we're going to probably want to use this camera angle. And here we go. I am scared of this one, though, because I really actually don't remember doing any kind of testing on this to know exactly how to approach it. So I'm just going to wing it and hope everything goes according to plan. Yes! I'll take it. Land upright. For, like happiness come on beautiful I'll take that as a success it actually looks like it'd be really fun to fly off of too like you hit it like a jump it looks like we could get some serious air on that so if we did something like this where we come in and then we go whoop yeah that's some air I mean we weren't even going that fast but that thing pops you up good totally coincidental of course Right, what happens if we just shove ourselves into the ground using that? Like, I'm just having fun with this thing, like, because I didn't get to do any testing with it earlier. I'm like, oh, look at this thing. It's so neat. So if we do... Oh, that's the stylish way to try to do it right there. It almost worked, too. I mean, it technically worked. I mean, we got through it. The, the, the van still drives. So that's a technical victory. It wasn't pretty, but it was technical. All right, next one is this, which uh, does this. So yeah, we're not going to use that one, because it does that. So how about this instead? It's a little suspension test area, not much to talk about. Uh, but it's there, and we can roll our van on it, although I think it would have rolled even if that wasn't there. I came in so stupidly aggressive into that thing. All right, time to do a vehicle change, I think. Let's go ahead and say, how about Moonhawk? And we'll use the, the Terrible. We're going to just say, I want the Terrible. And then it makes more sense if I drop it off of something. Like here, I'm going to just drop it down this tube and then it'll crash. And the reason why is because it's terrible. So the next thing we're going to look at, though, is these tubes. There's three of them. 
first one has a bunch of junk in it that we could eventually crash into, so we're gonna do that right now with my terrible. And for some reason, this tube, it just kills my frame rate, as you're seeing right here. Uh, I have no idea why. There is no reason for this tube to kill my frame rate like you're seeing, but it does. And this is running on my new computer with the 980 Ti, not an SLI yet, and the 5960X. That's overclocked to 4.4 and a half gigahertz, kind of. That was weird. Um, or is it 4.5? I don't know. I was messing around with it. Point is, though, there's no reason this should lag, but it does. But once you're out of it, it's fine. Like, over here? Yeah, fine. Well, the car's in there. That's gonna lag it. Bad car. Go in here. See this tube? 60 frames per second. Solid. No issues at all. But that tube, you go in that tube, it's like, oh, my frame rate's crying. Okay, it is a little low here, too, though. I don't know. It's just these tubes. They're weird. It's not as bad as up there, though. Like, I noticed it dropped, but it wasn't like, oh, my goodness, my computer's crying, even though it's so upgraded and new. I don't know if it's, like, where the camera is or where the car is. I guess it's where the car is. Like, I, I don't know. It's just weird, right? Like, why? I have no idea, but, it, yeah, that's what happens. So here we go. You can take the car down this tube at double speeds and try to hit those light posts. I mean, it's not like you really try to hit it. It's because you can't really miss it. And this is a beautiful crash. Like, we're going to wrap this car so hard around this light post. Or drive right through it because we're going too fast. It's not exactly what I was expecting. I mean, we wrapped it around it, but not around it. That <laughs> was just not what I expected. All right, I'm going to do that at a normal speed, not like 200 miles per hour like last time. Maybe even a little bit slower than normal because I'm sliding all over the place because the parking brake's on. I, it took me that long to realize the parking brake was on, yes. And again, bad frame rate for some reason. We got a nice spin on it, and somehow I managed to pop it between those poles. That is a talent of mine, I think, now. No, the skid marks tell another story. You look at those skid marks, that is not between them, is it? I clipped it pretty hard. I mean, while obviously looking at the damage, you can figure that out. We're going to give it one more try. Because I believe I can do this where I actually wrap it around the pole. And not just do some miraculous driving right through it stuff. Like I'm doing every single time. Alright, wrap it. This one's going to wrap it. The only question is, is it slow enough to wrap it? Is it going to drive through it? Oh, you're driving through it. That's not fun. Well, that's the tubes. They're a little glitchy. I'll say that for sure. Also, this one has a ramp at the end. But I've never been able to get through all this, the junk because of the lag. Uh, next thing we're going to look at is this over here. This is a little puddle of water. It's water. I don't know why it's here, but we're going to look at it. So there it is. Okay, next thing. I'm bored of the puddle. I just wanted to point that out because, like, there's a puddle for some reason, and I don't know why. Is this, which kind of is like the thing from the next car game demo. And interestingly enough, this is the first map I've seen that includes this. You would think, you know, somebody else would have saw that and be like, oh, I should make that for BMG Drive. But no, this was the first one that I've actually seen this made. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change the car up again. Go with, uh, let's go with uh, Covet, with the normal one. How about student driver one? That one's fun. Uh, but what this is, is it's basically this backboard with a bunch of pegs sticking out of it. And if you wanted to have it in a more technical name, you could say it's pachinko for your car because that's, well, exactly what it is to me. So all you do is you drop the car in and it bounces off all the pegs and eventually you'll get to the bottom. If you do it poorly, you'll probably fall out of the pegs and hit prematurely. Or if you do it really good, like this one, you'll get to the bottom bouncing off of the pegs the whole way. And there we go. And you may have noticed, I teleported up here instead of driving. The reason for that is quite, is quite simple. How are you going to drive up here? Up the stairs? Yeah, right, buddy. There is no way to drive up here, unfortunately. So, if you don't know how to teleport your car, first, when you're on your car, you hold shift, hit C... Bring the camera to wherever you want and hit F7 because that is an essential skill for enjoying this map. If you can't do that, you won't enjoy this map probably. So let's go ahead and switch the car up again. We're going to go this time to the sunburst. And I want one with a roll cage for this. So we're going to uh, use the race one. And now, oh no! That never happened. I didn't just crash. What are you talking about? Crazy, dude. I didn't crash. I wouldn't crash. I'm a great driver. And now, though, let's go down the stairs in a slow and painful manner. So that is, like, the perfect way to do it. This is maximum amount of bouncing off the stairs that you're going to get thanks to the really low speed I was using. And I'm on the stairs that have more frequent dips in them. 
So I'll just do a quick pause here to show you. You see the difference? This one has like a stair for every two, or there's two stairs for every one stair over here. And then it goes on all the way like that for this side. And then that side, it's the more bigger stairs. So I just wanted to point out there's two different ways you could go down. And that one was a really nice run. I quite liked the way it bounced. Oh, glitchiness. Oh, my car's an abomination. We need a new one. Oh, it's quick, right? You know, I'm just throwing cars everywhere. Like, what a car next? Do a normal 200BX. Like, this one, just a normal one. Nothing fancy at all. Abomination car. That nah, is gone. Ow! I need more ground clearance. I can't get over this lip. That's, that's dumb. Like, I actually got stuck on the lip there. Right, this one you need to go a little bit faster because the stairs are less frequent. And that was definitely fast enough. Don't fall off of it. Stay on it. Stay on it. No! No, bad car! You never saw that either. And you might say, but I wanted to see the fall. We'll be doing those later, so don't worry about that. This one is not the goal. This one, the goal is to go down the stairs properly. Don't you do it again? Oh my goodness, I swear, if you do it twice, I'm not even going to try this again. And this camera, I'm not doing some good camera work here at all. I like this camera angle because you can just see it hit every stair nice and clearly. There we go, though. We made it to the bottom that time. And that, without the roll cage, you see how much worse the car fares. The pedals are now above your roof line. <laughs> that is the funniest example, I think. I never noticed that this one actually has little car mats in it. How cute. All right, and just for the people who might have wanted to see the uh, car hit the ground, whoopsie! Except this one's going to be a lot harder of an impact. Who cares? A drop's a drop. And that is a drop. Drive! Yeah, all right. You're joking, because I ain't going to drive. So next up is this over here. Just going to bring the car over, and again, no way to get to it legit unless you try to drive up that, but that's pretty steep. I don't know if you could do that. So instead, I just teleport my car up and say, okay, we're ready to go, but not in this car. We need a different car. What car will it be? I haven't decided yet. Let's do a bolide with the slower one, like the 350. Except it's white. I don't want white. Now that I think about it, because the ramp is white, so it'll blend in. Instead, we need this color. Oh, the wall's eating my car. Bad, bad, bad wall. All right. A little bit of damage on it, but it just adds character. Here we go. So there's basically three things you could do at the end of this, kind of four. The first one is this, which is a ramp slamming you straight into a wall. As you can see, ramp, wall, car get crushed. What the heck is that? Is that like this? I don't know what piece that is, but some piece is sticking out really oddly. It almost looks like the center console or something. It is! What in the world just happened? That is weird looking. I've never seen that before. The center console actually did like a whole 180 wrap around to get there. That is weird looking. But you can tell that's it because you can see you can see the, like the uh, the gear sh the gear shifter right there, and then like the radio and stuff. And then you can also tell it's attached to the dash right here. See so how the speedometer? That is weird looking, dude. I honestly can say I've never seen something that unusual before in terms of when a car bends in half. Like, I've never seen the, the dash just looking like that. It looks funny. All right, anyways, though, next up is this over here. So this one is a jump. And the goal is to either jump across the water or jump into the water. I haven't really decided yet. But there you go, right into the water, kind of into the ground as well simultaneously. And that's not going anywhere. And the last thing here is this set of three poles that you can r try to wrap your car around. And it's very similar to the light poles I was trying to crash into earlier, but they're a little bit wider, which means wrapping it, your car into it is a little bit um, better working, to put it simply. It works better. So here we go, 100 times slow-mo, and this is the perfect wrapping around the car. And by the skid marks, you can tell this isn't exactly the easiest thing to do. But right there, that is exactly what I wanted to see. The car was basically torn in half and the front and the rear are both pointed in the same direction. Like that's basically what just happened there. That is just extreme damage. Absolutely absurd amounts of damage. And there's the uh, the console again. 
That is so weird, this thinking console. But that's crazy. Like, you can see there are the head... Ooh, what if I actually turn on the headlights? That's not the headlights, you idiot! L is not headlights. Stop thinking that. It's N. It kind of clips through the other pieces of the car. It's like, oh, I'm fine. Headlights are fine. Even the engine is fine. Believe it or not, the engine is fine. It will accelerate when you hit the gas pedal. Because all the damage is right before the engine. It's right where the driver is. Which, yeah, he had no chance of surviving that, dude. Like... Cars are not designed for that kind of impact, period. It's not going to happen. All right, next thing is this over here. And uh, it's basically like the tube we saw earlier, but it doesn't lag and it's not a tube. Those are the major differences. And that was the, one of those is the interior camera. I'm not exactly sure which. All right, so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and uh, well, we'll use the bull light one more time. Because it has a real low ground clearance, so it should work out good for hitting these things. It's so like boom. Do it in full speed for one, and oh, stuck in a tree. Come on, you could do more interesting than that. Make sure I get a different angle, and hopefully it'll bounce a little bit more. And then we can slide it into there, and that's a little bit more fun. See, not immediately stuck in a tree is a lot funner. All right, now we're going to go and switch the car out to, uh, let's go, Grand Marshal Police one. <laughs> My mouse is like on a really low sensitivity. I'm like, like racing my arm around just trying to get it to move. And uh, this one, it gets a slow-mo. Let's do only eight times slow-mo for it though, because we're not going too fast. Doors are gone, but they're not. They're still attached. And speed it up just a bit till we get to the next collision, which is right here. Which is just kind of scraping the roof, and now it's a little bit more than that. Oh, the light bar got flattened. It looks funny. So flat. You see it just flashing. And at the bottom. There we go. And of course, there's also the other area to the left where there's nothing in your way. Except for the trees. So you can go to this area and crash into that. There's also this, this, uh, this right here which you could try to crash into. Which crashes you into a tree. There's lots of things you can crash into, basically, is what I'm getting at. You can crash into trees, rocks, and even those things, which the name is it's just a freight container, right? Like, that's all it's called. Crash into that twig, which is apparently stronger than a car. It's not even that thick. Like, my arm is thicker than that at where I crashed. You know, it's probably even competing right there. Now there, I don't know. That one's getting a little thick. I don't think my arm's that strong. But, psh, psh, what do you mean you crashed? Wimpy car. Next thing, next thing, next thing is a jump. So we're gonna go over here. And I'm gonna reset the car right here just in case something goes terribly, terribly wrong. And then here we go to the jump. And I kinda lined up crooked so we gotta straighten ourselves out. Nailed it. Bottoming out hard. And jumping. Can we get over the lake? Yeah. No problem. Oh wait, we're by the we're next to the lake. It doesn't even it's not it's not relevant. You can't go over the lake because it's not there. Either way though, car's broken. And the lights are bouncy. And it's like they're bouncy. They're so excited. Like finally we're freed from this police car. Now right, what's next? Let's uh let's use the truck some. So we'll get the normal truck and how about we use, I don't know, let's go with the off-road one versus, hmm. You know, I'm all deciding here. Let's do uh, the four-wheel drive, not off-road one. Because I don't know if I ever use that one. It's like, why would you not want off-road? I don't know. Just for something different. Oh, yeah, scrape that thing. There we go. Fixed it. But again, there's no real easy way up here. Except for that, which isn't easy at all. We can go down or up it, but if you want to go down it, you got to teleport into it. Because it's too big of a lip. So, pop the car up like that. And now we can drive down it, and we're going to drive full throttle, full steering lock this whole way. Just to see if anything interesting happens this way. Because going down it not crashing, it's kind of boring. Going down it like this is a little more interesting until uh, it, it's not. I don't know. I mean, this goes on for a while. This just goes on and on until you get to the ground. You could also go up it. I mean, it's cool. But there's not really much you can do with it, to me. Because it's like a little too thin and too steep to try to drift it because it'll just bottom out everywhere. And to climb it, we need a little bit more powerful of a car. So we're done here! That was fast, eh? It's not a, uh, it's not a logical way to try to climb it, that's for sure. 
The next stop is this over here, which is just like this giant sky track. Got to make sure I don't mess up getting onto it. So we'll start going in. Oh, goodness, I forget which direction is the right way. Ah, let's see. If I reset it, which way does it point me? So my very flawed logic is telling me to go this way. And once again, I'm using the hood camera for something like this just because it's a little bit easier when you invert the car and all that. Because the normal camera kind of struggles to follow the car when you do crazy things like that. So this is a sky track, like I said, and that just basically means it's a track that floats in the air, and if you make a mistake, you fall to the ground. And this is possibly the wrong direction because this is ridiculously steep. I can't do this in this truck. So I think I was supposed to go the other direction. Oh, well. But this is what would happen if you make a mistake. You fall to the ground and go slap. So I guess I was wrong. We went the wrong way. So let's go this way. The correct way. Very carefully. And now we go full speed ahead. Until we get to this part where we're going to slow down a lot. Slow it down, slow it down. And really slow it down here. Don't tip over. Okay, a little bit more speed and we are good to go. See, it's a lot easier if you go the right direction and not the wrong direction like I did. Uh, but in terms of difficulty, this is a lot easier than like the ones at grid map because there's only like one corner that'll really kill you. The rest are pretty easy if you're careful. I thought I was going to fall off the mountain right there or the, the, the track right there. Like, I did not do that right. I'm lucky to be alive. But uh, I'll take that. All right, on to the next thing over here. We have another one of those, uh, what you call it? No, that's the same one I saw earlier. What? No way, this drives. Not very well, but it drives. I can't believe that. How are you driving? It's amazing. It's a miracle. Hallelujah. Except I can't corner. Where is the cornering ability? Your ground, I mean, your, um, your center of gravity is lower. You should corner better. What's up with that? It's not going to make it up that. I don't know if you can make it up with an, a functional vehicle. It looks like you could. But it doesn't really matter because that's where it gets you. We actually need to go all the way up here. And there's this tube which you uh, absolutely can't possibly climb because it doesn't connect fully to the ground. And we could drive into and to do that, we're going to change vehicles again. Say, how about... We don't need anything fast, so we could just say... I6 SUV. It's going to be the slowest thing possible. Well, maybe not the slowest, but it's not fast by any means. And I think if I actually pop into this camera, I might be able to drive through this and get to the bottom, kind of not damaging myself, if I can remember which way is pointed upright, which I'm sort of doing. I got pretty far. I got to the bottom, but in doing it from the interior view is very disorientating. I was kind of lost that whole time. That was scary. So I'm going to try it again exterior, and this time I'm not going to try to keep it upright at all. I'm just going to gas, and that's it. I'm not going to steer or anything. Oh, no. You better not. You better not. Oh, okay. I'm steering it to roll it upright. So a little bit of steering on my part. Ironically enough, we got just as far not steering at all. But it's a lot less disorientating that way. And then it shoots us into the ground with the power of gravity. That's what it looks like uh, from the outside, though, so you can kind of give it a better idea. Anyways, next thing are some jumps over here, and I'm going to keep using this vehicle for these because we need something nice and big. First jump is over to the left, and I'm not there. There we are. And it's just into a spike wall. And you have different direct... Uh, directions that you can kind of come at it depending on which ramp you chose. I chose the one that's the farthest away so we came at it like that. And now uh, we're landing on it and this is my resting place. It's nice and comfortable. Two spikes. So nice. And then there's two more I could do. I will probably not bother though. Next up is this one which we can use that slams us into some cubes. Or you could sl go through the cubes and not hit them. But where's the fun in that? So right there, right into the cubes. Perfect hit. Can we stay on it though? No, we're gonna fall. And the last thing you can do is the one that's kind of in between the two, which is not hit anything. But that's that's boring, don't you think? Like not hit anything? I could think of a hundred thing, hundred things that are more fun to do. And with the SUV, we can just barely make it. 
Like really just barely. And you could try to go up that if you weren't upside down, but I'm upside down, so we're not going to go up that at all. But if you somehow went up that, you could also go up here and then do these drops. This one has nothing in it. This one has some... Whoops, what happened? Oh, I don't know. I got disorientated again. This one has spikes in it, and this one has nothing again. So for some reason, there's two of them with nothing, and as far as I can tell, they're identical. Those ones are boring. We're not going to be using those ones. We're going to be using the one with spikes. And I'm not going to even bother driving into it, because I think it'd be cooler if we just dropped it straight onto the spikes like this and get spiked oh how did you dodge that that's ridiculous all right we're just gonna speed it up because it didn't get impaled like i was wanting i figured out a way to dodge the impaling so i'm just gonna move it to the right a bit and i think that'll get it impaled that's looking good. I don't know if it's going to hit the spike I was thinking, but it should hit the one in the back at least. Just got to make sure I get my slow-mo on. 100 times slow-mo. Is it impaling it this time? Barely, but it's it's. I'll take it. Like, it's going straight through it. And... There it goes. It's grabbing it. That's kind of weird looking the way it did that. And then 8 times slower. Not as entertaining as I expected, unfortunately. That's kind of sad. Let's throw it in the middle, maybe. Do it full speed. Nah. Not as entertaining as I was hoping. I don't know. When the spikes don't impale it, it's not as fun for me. Over here, we have a mountain or something you could just drop your car on. I don't really know what it does, but you could do that. And then... How are you holding on? There we go. Then you eventually go into the trees. And there's a lot of trees over here. Like, this is... The densest, densest forest I've ever seen. Like, you, you're not going to drive through this. So I'm not exactly sure what to do about it, but it's there. And there's mountains you could look at, but not really drive on because they're too steep. And I think that's just about everything there is. There's a couple more ramps and stuff over here I didn't bother looking at, so we could do that. And I think I showed that suspension test over there, right? Pretty sure I did when I spun, or flipped over on it, right? Didn't I do that? Pretty sure I did. Uh, we also got these things, which are kind of neat, but I don't know exactly what they're do they're used for. Like, I'll use them and stuff, but I'm not sure what I'm doing. So, for those, we're going to switch to... We need probably lots of ground clearance, and I want lots of power. So, we're going to just go ahead and go to my favorite truck. No, you're not my favorite. Who are you? There we go. There's my favorite truck. Uh, but all this really is, is just like a thing to crash a car into. I mean, it's that simple. It's just a fancy looking thing to crash a car into. You, you might be able to think you could like ride up on that thing or something. And you kind of can if you do something crazy like that. But most of the time you're just going to crash into it. Especially if you come at it like in a straighter orientation. It's just a crash. You're just going to go splat. Like so. And splat. See, you can't really use it as a jump consistently. Unless you slide into it like a maniac. And over here we have a couple of ramps that just go up. Nothing too interesting about them. And here's a starting place again, where we started. There's also these here, which is just like a bunch of random blocks and crazy directions and stuff that you could shove your car into and stab. You could do that a couple of times, and then I think uh, that'll be pretty much everything there is on the map. So like, boom, right there. Got a nice stabbing into the roof of the car. Looks like it totally is getting disconnected from the windshield. Kind of funny. But that's that. And that's, well, like I said, that's pretty much everything there is. Over there, that giant looking hole, or that giant looking thing, that is the peg ward that we were playing around with earlier. If we go to the other side, though, which is what I'm doing, we just have more trees. Nature! And stuff. Hey, there's a hole in the trees, though. Never noticed that. Where does it go? Oh, it's to the water. Hello, water. And I guess uh, that'll do it. So just for fun, I'm going to do actually one last thing. I'm going to throw like 10 cars down on the uh, this board at once, and then I'll be done. Maybe not 10, because that's probably going to lag. But we could do four at least. So. so the game crashed while I was adding the cars, and I wasn't sure if it would crash again. So I went ahead and added the cars off camera, and, uh, well, it's working this time, so we're good to go. And it looks like uh, this is going to be a pretty good alignment for the cars. The only question is, how is this camera angle going to do? I think it'll work. So we're watching those three first. And the, the big rig's gone, so we'll watch these four instead. Just 
falling so gracefully. There needs to be like a scoreboard at the bottom too, so you could like get points. Just like Pachinko, you know? I right, speed it up a little bit more. They're going really slow. Ah, what the heck? Let's go full speed. Alright, van is gone. We got, looks like two trucks still though. And the big rig made it. The big rig's actually surprising in how it stayed there. So, there is the finishing wreckage. And that's a good test of my, uh, computer right there if I because I had five cars and normally five cars is like past the limit of my old processor this one no problems at all that was great and um, that'll do it so till next time this is YBR I'll see ya